It's a summer baby boom of the very worst kind. Okay, oh, it's a song for the spiders to yeah, get down Yeah, they're getting it on. Too. That's right. right. Spiders have romance. They do. <laughs> They've got to find the love. Well, all this rain and humidity means you might start hearing the pitter-patter of eight tiny feet. The wet weather sparking a spider breeding bonanza. Dan Rumsey, Rumsey from the Australian Reptile Park joins us now and he's brought some unwelcome mates with him. Um, good morning to you. Nice to see you, buddy. Thanks for having um, look, I, I, In the last couple of weeks, there has been an explosion of spiders around um, our place, the, the huntsman in particular. Yeah. Um, even last night, um, my daughter ran up and said, Dad, can you go get this spider? And my mum had to go down and look after it. Because um, <laughs> I, I hate them. I hate them. Um, but why? What is, what's the reasoning behind it? Yeah, well, I guess it's just last year was quite dry and, and this year we're experiencing really strange weather, particularly down here in New South Wales. We're really warm and lots of rain as well. So yeah. as the humidity increases, spiders are starting to boom again. They're really trying to make up for a poor couple of dry years. So those giant huntsmen that are appearing in all our houses, we've got one on the ceiling. Yeah. Why are they so big? Like, have they been hiding f for a year and eating or something? Like, yeah. what's going on? They seem bigger than ever. They, oh, they do grow pretty large. And I guess if conditions are right and there's plenty of food around, they're going to continue to grow. But uh, they're not all of a sudden going to grow grown to can take over people or anything like that. So don't worry about huntsmen too much. But they turn up in some really strange places. So you talk about uh, bathrooms. Uh, the worst, I reckon, is when you encounter, like, a, a big huntsman in your car. Like, how does it yeah. get in there? But they do turn up in some strange places. But they're not dangerous to humans. But they huntsmen. can attack you. I've been attacked by one. Yeah, I think they can. If they're flighty and they try to jump away or as you said nearly land on you but don't worry about huntsmen too much because they're good to have around because they'll eat on they'll feed on other invertebrates but they'll even potentially feed on other spiders as well like the redback so, so uh, my brother-in-law he was bitten by one the other night when he was asleep Wow. Um, Has he got superpowers now? No, that's what my brother said. <laughs> <laughs> he woke up like... Anyway. <laughs> um, but he had to get taken to hospital. Very painful bite from a redback. Yep. Um, and you have to be aware of it, don't you? Definitely. We've got some pretty dangerous spiders in Australia. And the Sydney funnel web or the funnel web spider in general would be an example of one of those. And we've got that walking around here. Now, up until 1981, there'd been at least 14 recorded deaths from male funnel web spider bite. Thankfully, no one has died from a funnel web spider bite since then since the introduction of the antivenom program that obviously we play such a very big part in. But I tell anyone that you should always be familiar with the spiders that are endemic or live in the region that you live in. Mm. Um, Familiarise yourself with them, learn about them and know how to stay away from them, I guess. these funnel webs, I mean, you could kind of mistake one for a huntsman oh. at a distance, I guess. I yeah. mean, you couldn't, but um, they're not dissimilar. No, definitely, and that's the best thing. If you do see a spider, it's always best to leave them alone. Um, now, if you want to remove the spider, obviously, from your house, now, in case of a funnel web spider, we need male funnel webs, so not for kids, obviously, to do, but if adults can catch the spider for us and drop it off to the reptile park, we milk it, uh, and that's turned into antivenom, which saves lives. It takes a fair bit of courage um, in order to do that. I'd be more inclined to... to <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, I'd be inclined to hit it with a shoe, to be honest with you. Um, or, or half a can of Peebo. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, obviously uh, I won't advise people to do that, no. but if you can catch them and get them outside, that's probably the, okay. the best step. What about that? How do you do that? Because my mum's got this... She, she gets an ice cream container and wakes a piece of paper. Yeah, but, yeah, the but, but then you've got to have your hand yes. there and it's like... I can't well, get I, through the cardboard. It, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, well, I well, probably wouldn't put a bit of paper under a funnel web because they've got really large fangs and they'd be able to bite through them. Oh. And yeah, I was actually watching a really funny video. You know those inspired, unemployed guys? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah they yeah. were funny, catching a uh, huntsman out of the house today. They did a pretty bad example of it, but it was pretty funny to watch. Now, in case of a funnel web, um, they can't bite through something like this, so mm. clear plastic jar, and they also can't climb that. So if I was going to catch this funnel web, I would simply just... <laughs> That's place disgusting. it in the jar and uh, we're all good. Cool. <laughs> it's disgusting. And that's as simple as that. It's obviously yeah. not going to jump up or anything like that, so I can put the look at it. Look at it. There. Oh, it's look, rearing it's up. But, yeah. Oh, the poor thing. And, and they, these ones, where do you find them mostly? <laughs> <laughs> it's got the shoe out. That's a fancy enough, they're arm, almost snake it? skin replica, but no, <laughs> you can't use those boots. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> um, look, um, where do you find these? They kind of get under the edges of things. Definitely, and that's where uh, you'll usually encounter uh, a redback spider. Where, but where you might encounter something like a funnel web would be just active in your backyard. Always check your skimmer box. Maybe if you leave your shoes at the back door, potentially they'll hide in shoes. And I guess the only other thing too is just know your first aid treatment. What do so, you do? Yeah, so for a funnel web, it's the same as our snake bite treatment in Australia. 
uh, pressure bandage on the bite site and obviously seek immediate medical attention for a red back cold compression on the bite site. So there's plenty of information online that you can look up. Head to the Reptile Park website. Uh, we have plenty of info about that too, but it's always good to familiarise yourself with first aid for spider bites and, or and snakes. And they've got, they've got anti-venom at most hospitals now, don't they? And then doctor's surgeries and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, well, at, at hospitals anyway, particularly yeah. for the spiders that live in that region. So as I said before, no-one's been killed by funnel web for... Almost Is there anything years. you can do if you live in the country and you're not that close to or you, there's isolated properties and all that sort of stuff? Or is there something you can do there? Definitely always speak to your local hospital because yeah. they will carry the antivenom for the animals in that region. Yeah. If you are bitten, as long as you stay calm, apply the appropriate first aid, that gives you lots of time. What if you, you think not, you would be staying what, calm? What if there's no way in the world that you're going to stay calm? Um, <laughs> uh, you're going to die. No, I'm joking. You're going to die. the venom through your body. Just, uh, You've yeah. got to be oh, Take yeah, a few yeah. deep breaths, put on some Marvin Gaye and just get to hospital, all right? OK. Do, do we have any Marvin Gaye? Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> it's so weird. It's a segment on spiders. I'm gonna, do you know what? Every time I hear that song now, I'm going to think Big about spiders. spiders. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thank you. <laughs> I used to like that song. Right, that was a good song. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Did you ever do that when you were a kid? Trying to be Spider-Man? Like... Yeah. yeah, my kids do too. Anyway. It never gets old.